Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're looking again at our viewer dash, and this time we are going to create a low fuel warning to alert us to when we have less than one and a half laps of fuel left. And this is going to be based on the calculated average. Now the problem when you do that is that it takes iRacing or ACC or SimHub, depending on how you're choosing to calculate your fuel laps remaining, uh, a couple of laps to calculate the average fuel and then factor in how many laps you have based on what's left in the tank. So if you were to just simply create a warning light that you want to come on when the fuel laps remaining is less than one and a half laps, for the first few laps of a session, that light is going to be on. And we don't want that. Now, there are multiple ways that you can approach this one. I'm going to show you how I do it here today. I will paste the code for this alert down in the description below. You're welcome to copy and paste it into your own dash. Um, Again, because this is not a dashboard that I've created, I don't feel right sharing a link to it uh, without permission. And so I'm just going to give you the code. You're welcome to use it. But let's go ahead and let's jump right in. So we've already got the dashboard up. And this is what we want to adjust in the left section of the dash within the fuel box. There is this low fuel alert remain or low fuel alert box. And we can see there I'm just toggling the visibility on and off. And we want it to come on at a certain point. So what we want to do is we want to go in here into the visibility function. And right now it's set to come on when the data core plug in computed fuel laps remaining is less than one and a half. Now, after the first couple of laps, it's calculated, you're fine, but we have an issue with that. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a little if statement to this. We're going to say if, and then we're just going to go with current lap. This is a quick and dirty way to do this. There is a much more accurate way to do this, but we're not going to worry about that. So we're just going to do if current lap is less than two. Um, this way you've had at least uh, a lap or so to kind of calculate how much fuel use is going to be. Um, if it's less than two, zero. We don't want this to come on. If it is more than true, then we want to say if data core plug in is greater than or less than 1.51 zero and whoops i hit the wrong thing there zero okay so now we've got a expected end of field so where did we miss a expected end of field there we go okay so now it's going to return a zero so basically what this function is doing is it's going to look to see is the current lap less than two if it is less than two, we are not going to display this red alert box. If it is more than two, we also want to check to see if our fuel laps remaining is less than or equal to one and a half laps. If that part is true, one, we want this red alert box to be on. If it is still not true, we want it to just return a zero so this alert box does not pop up. So there you go. Very quick and easy. I will have this code posted in the description below. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have questions still about this, feel free to post in the comments below. Reach out to me. I'm always happy to help you out with whatever dashboard you are trying to build. SimHub is so cool, but it is also very intensive and is not exactly the most user friendly until you get the hang of it. So thanks for hanging out with me today. And we have more to come with this dashboard because there's still a few other things that we want to adjust and perfect and fine tune. And I will get to those in future videos. So thank you very much.